the first one is s orbital we are going to talk about the s orbital by definition s orbital have a spherical shell shape and the faint dark blue circle represent the region of maximum electron intensity and density only one s orbital exists for each principal quantum number denoted by one s here is your two s here is your three s s orbital when l is equal to zero the value of m is equal to zero that is only one possible orientation this means that the probability of finding an electron is the same in all direction at a given distance from the nucleus. It should therefore be spherical in shape. This is a 1s orbital and this is a 2s orbital. Hence all s orbital are non-directional and spherically symmetrical about the nucleus. The size of the s orbital depends upon the value of the quantum number n. The greater than the value of greater the value of n, larger is the size of the orbital. This is your s orbital. Here the n value describes the energy level and l value describes the subshell. An important feature of the 2s orbital is that there is a spherical shell within this orbital where the probability of finding the electron is zero. This is called a node or a nodal surface. In 2s orbital, there is one spherical node. The number of nodal surface or nodes in s orbital of any energy level is equal to n minus 1, where n is the principal quantum number. You are able to see this is 1s. You got two circles, is 2s, and you got three here, it's 3s. And these are called as nodes. This is 1s and this is 2s and this is your node. 